that's my mother's share. Going to get beaten again. Hi there and welcome back to the Dare Grenadier YouTube channel for another video. This little encampment that I built, of course, is something that we don't want to see on the vents. Don't take chairs with you, don't take sleeping bags with you. You can easily do events up to minus 10 degrees Celsius in the evening without sleeping bags or little mats. Uh, I'm joined with my, uh, with my assistant, of course, uh, the chicken back in the backyard of my neighbors uh, who like to make noise during my videos. Uh, and beer, hide that for the public. Uh, you don't want them to see that. Exactly. So, I'm going to show you my new Zelbaans, my new tent, and I hope that you will enjoy this video. Thank you. So, as you might know, this is a four person tent. I have slept in one of these with four people and equipment, but it is not comfortable and I would advise against it unless you want really correct events. Um, but if you sleep with two or three people in there, that is quite comfortable and usually people have extras out uh, so you can make a tent with two people or three uh, which is really comfortable to do uh, of course every soldier was issued one without baan two bags one for each corner uh, and one for each without baan in the middle uh, to give you a little bit more room and every soldier had one tent pole and of course you need four to make one large tent pole to make the tent stand completely upright. Uh, you need at least four zelts, four people to make one tent. Uh, but you can make larger tents if you put together more of these. Maybe you have seen them on events, those really large point, pointy ones or the more stretched one of these. Uh, so you can make eight people tents or 16 people tents etc etc. You can make them really large if you want to. Um, but you are going to need some additional additional uh, tent poles because otherwise you won't uh, be able to make one completely uh, because they are quite thin and fragile. This is the first time I'm seeing my own tent standing upright. Um, these three around are new and this is my old one. You have seen that in previous videos. Uh, but I'm going to do a little review of the new Zalbaans. Uh, and I'm going to give you some more info about the tent if I still have any. Now, first off, I want to show you the pattern and quality of the new Zelbaans. Um, am I going to show you my old one? And I believe that these are the new version of the Zelbaan I already have. And I have a few reasons for that. Uh, first off, um, the buttons. The buttons are identical on the new ones and the old ones. And the pattern is really, really, really close. And the material also feels kind of the same. Um, I bought my old one from Soldier of Fortune. Uh, maybe it was a Richard Underwood Zelt, but I don't think they still have this exact one. Um, and the new ones, they have this stamp in the corner and that's how you can recognize them. These are, in my opinion, Maybe the second best option these days. Uh, the number one is going to be Pantastor, which is really good but really expensive. And these are also not cheap. These are 76 euros a piece, uh, but they do seem like good quality items. Uh, I found mine to be quite water resistant, and this fabric feels the same. So if you're going to look for these Zalbans, which are sold by numerous vendors, um, Look for the stamp in the bottom, in the corner, uh, which says Kleiderwerke Zuber, once back 1938. Uh, and these are sold by Nestov, Social of Fortune, maybe some vendors in America, I don't know for sure. I haven't looked there. Uh, but I bought these from Nestov. Uh, th this is their premium version. I believe they sell three types of Zalbans. Of course, two of which are garbage, uh, made by Sturm. And this one is premium uh, and this way way better. Don't buy your Sturm Zalban, I already made a review about that. The colors are way off 
and the quality sucks. Uh, so I would not do that if I were you. Um, one thing that is completely different on the new ones is the color of the inside of the zelt, which I'm not that big a fan of. As you can see, it's a little bit, a little bit weird, a um, little bit purplish tone. It's still brown. Uh, of course, colors varied on originals as well. Um, but I would have liked that to be more like the old ones, uh, more darker brown than dark brown combined with this weird like darkish gray with a purplish tone. Um, I think it is acceptable, but I would have liked to see that a little bit differently. Still, the quality is good, the buttons are good. Uh, I think I have lost two buttons on mine in the time I've used it. Uh, so they are quite sturdy. One thing that you must remember to do when you get a new Zeldbaan is put on the loops on the bottom. Uh, you can loop them through the cove, uh, which means that if you are using it reversed, you can just pull the rope through and use it on this side. Uh, and you need to do that on all the corners and in the bottom, otherwise you won't be able to set up the tent properly. Where you don't want to do that is up there and you can see I have one loop, one loop uh, attached to the Zaalbaan that I use most often and the reason I did that is because uh, I want to be able to use that on trees or otherwise uh, some rope or maybe something like that uh, just so I can make a shelter with one Zaalbaan if I want to but if you have too many loops on the top there you won't be able to put your tent pole through the holes uh, and you cannot set up your tent. So do not do that unless really necessary. One thing that I just noticed is the color difference in the, in the cell bands. Uh, as you can see, this is the one that I have shown you before, um, the one that's next to my old one. And this one is also one of the new ones, but it has a little bit of a lighter green. Nothing too different, um, but it, I just noticed uh, since I haven't set up the tent before. Uh, so there is a slight color difference in these cell bands as well. If you are new to reenactment and you're thinking, ah damn, I need to buy a complete tent, this is going to cost me so much money. That is not true, of course. Uh, you need to buy one zelt with two packs and one pole. Then you have all you need and you can build a tent with four persons. People. People. Um, the reason I have a complete tent now is because it was my birthday and I got gifted two by my parents. And which meant I only had to buy one more. Then I had a complete tent. Uh, so that was quite convenient for me. But this is not the first thing that you should buy. So if you are looking for a new Zalban, you could either go for Pampa Store or these. Uh, I described to you how you can find them. Um, that's going to be all for now, I think. If you have any more questions, reach out to me in the comments or on Instagram. Uh, and I, I'm going to wish you all a very nice Christmas. So, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the future. Bye.